Well, I heard this morning and uh, I already dropped my vlogging camera into the creek. But uh, working around trying to find a composition. Got a beautiful, nice little fall here uh, with a double stone arch bridge in the background. And uh, hopefully, we're going to be able to get a shot. Nice morning for shooting water. The wind is calm and uh, no harsh light. So, let's get started. working the composition here what I'm trying to do now is get this little cascade right in the foreground uh, before it leads up to the bridge I dropped my vlogging camera into the water a little bit just got the front of the lens and the front of the microphone so I hope everything's still working okay I'm gonna find out when I get home but uh, we're gonna keep working this composition I'm actually doing some manual focus stacking. I'm not relying on the D850's ability to do its focus stacking because I found out that works best in a big landscape, but it doesn't always work best um, when you have objects up close because it just doesn't seem to calculate properly to suit me because I want each rock in the foreground to be tacked sharp. So I'm gonna focus manually, I'm gonna zoom in, check it to make sure it's in focus, then I'll go ahead and shoot. I may do three or four images, not sure yet, just depends on how it looks as I go through the steps to, to focus on each object as I get back to the bridge. Okay, I had originally taken five images uh, for this photo uh, to stack, but I was using f11 and based on the rules of depth of field, really only needed three to get a sharp image. So to make it easier, speed up the post-processing time um, and keep the file size down, I decided just to use three of the images because I really wasn't gaining any sharpness by using all five. Um, so what I did here is I focused down here in this left hand corner on this rock focused here on this rock which was next in line and then I focused on the bridge itself and all these rocks here in the center uh, they stayed sharp um, the trees and the leaves and everything that, that was sharp based on uh, focusing on the bridge again because I was using f11 And to stack your images, you go to Edit In, Open as Layers in Photoshop. And each of the images will open as a layer in Photoshop. Imagine that. And that's where we'll begin. For the sake of brevity, I'll fast forward. 
Okay, as you can see, the rock here in the immediate foreground, when I focused on that, even though I'm using F11, because it is so close in the scene that just maybe five feet back, everything else starts to get out of focus. I mean, it's way out here in the background, but even this rock here that is, like I said, just a few feet behind it, um, has already started to lose sharpness. So now if I had focused on this particular rock, which I did in this photo, because this rock is again so close to me, now it's out of focus. Now because I'm using F11, everything in here is, is really sharp. So that's the shot that I'm going to use for the second image and then if we look at the third image um, really soft here in the bottom left hand corner this rock here is is soft it's not horrendous but it is soft and you get back here and you're seeing lots of sharpness on back through and the bridge is really sharp so what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine these three photos and to get our final image. The next step you want to do is select all of your images, go to Edit, Auto Align Layers, and for focus stacking uh, you want to use Auto Mode. Then once the images are aligned, we'll go to Edit, Auto Blend, you want to choose Stacked Images, and select Seamless Tones and Colors. Okay, as you can see here, if I deselect this image, um, you have some kind of scraggly spots out here, but this is the focus point, so that's going to be your sharpest area of this particular layer. And if you get rid of that, and that is where I focused on this rock, take that away, and the third layer contains um, the bridge and again because of depth of field it also combined these rocks here these rocks back here and obviously the background trees so now you have a combined image and you are sharp from the back see your bridge is pretty sharp your rocks are sharp your rock over here is sharp and then in this rock in the immediate foreground is now sharp. Now you see down here you have some artifacts which is very typical when you do auto align and auto blend and we'll just crop those out. you watching if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up consider subscribing to my channel until next time take care